<laughs> Yo, what's up, people? It's King Dub the Seventh, and before I was complaining about how I wanted to make a video on Anthem, right? But they didn't show us anything. All they showed us was a suit, and I was like, "Oh man, how am I supposed to make a video on this? I don't have anything to work with." Well, Microsoft was like, "Yo, on our conference, we got you. We're gonna show you Anthem." on our new Xbox One X. That's the name of the Xbox Scorpio. It's called the Xbox One S uh, X. And it's gonna be uh four ninety nine. I don't I'll talk about that in a later video. I don't really care about that. But Players let's look at this on an Anthem video. So the thing about Anthem when I first looked at it was it reminded me of Warframe if you ever played that mix with Destiny. It reminded me of Warframe because of the you're like you go inside of a you're inside of a mech and the mech reminded me of the uh, of the Tenno in Warframe because each mech had like different playstyles and abilities and it reminded me of Destiny because it was a shared world type of game like when I first heard Every it they said an array of players we call javelins These as you hear it players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. They said players will have different javelins. So I was like, wait, Bang. players will have different... That means this game is multiplayer. And then you see this guy, Paul, he came and joined our party with his clunky, bulky looking javelin. And then they started flying around like Iron Man. And I was like, whoa. So it's a shared world. You're with... This is a multiplayer game, open world, and you fly. You can fly around and do missions this and stuff like that. This is the open world you explore with your friends. Each javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. And as you can and see, the environment looks fantastic. Now I am a hundred percent expecting a graphical downscale before the game comes out. Like it happens with all the games, it happened with Destiny, it's gonna happen, it happened with like Watch Dogs, it's gonna happen with this game, it happened to The Division, it's gonna happen with this game. Now that thing just got bodied. Now this game was super interesting to me. As you see, you got your abilities in the uh, bottom of the uh, HUD. When he's not flying around, you can see your abilities. So I'm guessing you can't fly and shoot at the same time. Now, I wasn't really paying attention to that much of this uh, gameplay because I was also watching some esports. But this game looks insane. I'm just hoping that it's not the classic E3 bait and switch that we see. One thing that I don't like about it though is I'm not the biggest third person shooter fan in the world. I would rather see a first person shooter, but I love anything shooting and RPG based like those are my favorite type of games and when you add on the ability to play with your friends because it's a multiplayer game like they're just asking for my money like I mean of course they're asking for my money they're a company and they make games that they want us to buy but like they're just like they're demanding my money they're like yeah Yo, you better buy this game this game has to have multi uh, PVP though. If it doesn't have PVP, in my opinion, there's no way, no reason to get this game. Power to combat. Like I'm not the type of person. I'm super competitive. I want to play this game and say that I'm better than you at this game, and my builds and and like equipment are better than yours. So I'm hoping that this game has PVP. I'm hoping that it has nice raids and nice events. These things are needed. Like, basically, as much shit as it gets, or as much crap as it gets, Destiny is the most successful blueprint in how to make a game like this. And all games have to do is follow what Destiny did and try to make it better. Oh man, is she gonna shoot rockets? Oh man. Woo! I'm liking the environmental interaction. Like I was talking about before in the uh, Kingdom Hearts and uh, Battlefront gameplay breakdown breakdowns that I did. As you can see, there is loot in this game also. Large scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic. 
and loots have different levels that you need to get and as you saw that was legendary loot but, but what I was saying before is environmental and traction is very important in gameplay hold on a sec hey guys what's up hey what's happening so I guess the maximum amount you can have in a squad is four I wonder if in like in Destiny that changes depending on like whether or not you're doing a raid or not. Because in Destiny, ooh, the max you could have for mission was three people, but if you did a raid, you could have six people. The storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? That electric storm. All right, let's do this. So I wonder if this. So like this, this environmental electric storms, I wonder if these are random. Nah, this is definitely mission based. There's no way it's there. random. So, that was Anthem. It looked super dope, man. It looked actually really, really dope. I liked everything that I saw from that game. Just about. There are some things like. There are some performance issues. Some frame drops that I saw while I was watching it on the Xbox uh, One X. If I get that game, I'll probably have to be on PC because I can almost guarantee that that game is going to be on PC. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I really, really need that game to have some type of PvP. I really want to know how customizable your javelins are going to be. Like, I want to be able to change the color change the look. I want to be able to actually name my javelin, name the javelin build. Like, uh, if you ever played Armor Core, when you built your, uh, when you built your Armor Cores, you can name them. So I had a black and white Armor Core that, uh, relied on laser abilities that I like to call Oyo Trigger when I was, uh, younger. So I would love the ability to be able to name my javelins, be able to like share javelin builds with people. I probably wouldn't share mine because mine would obviously be way better than everybody else's javelin builds. But I love the ability to do all of this. I love to have guilds or uh or clans, whatever you want to call it. You know what would be awesome if you could like uh if they had like a marketplace where you could get legendary weapons. And things like that, and actually be able to control the currency and be able to control the market with the uh, with the gear that you find and things like that. That would be dope if they had it. I I would understand if they don't if they don't do it like that because what that does is the people who really grind and really play the game a lot, they'll really have a leg up on everyone and be able to con control the currency and control how the game is played. But you could argue that if you put in the time, you should be able to do that. But if you do it like that, it could also screw over newer players. So, like, there are a bunch of things that they might allow for us to do. Bioware, a lot of people are looking for this game to be what redeems you from a... Uh, from that Mass Effect game that you guys put out. A lot of people think that this could be the one. This could be the next big thing. I would love to hear your guys' opinions in the comments section though. Did you like the game? Did you find it interesting? What are you excited for? What do you hope the game has? What do you hope the game doesn't have? Um, I really wonder how balancing is going to be in this game. Uh, I really hope it has air air combat in the game you saw them flying around and stuff i really hope there's air combat but that might be hard to do hard to pull off we'll see make sure you subscribe to the channel for more e3 coverage though this is keen the seven signing off